Let's have a look at the concept of the perfect collinearity in the case of a multivariable regression line. And let's see why we must have no perfect collinearity. So what's the idea? First of all, like some grammar over here, not grammar, vocabulary. What's, what's collinear? On the same line, right? Collinear on the same line. What does it mean on the same line? That means that we can explain one variable via a regression line, like we do over here, by using the other variable. So we have this earnings that we regress based on height. Let me just change colors real quick. That we regress based on height and education. And let's assume that we can regress education based on height as well via a line. Because remember, that's what a regression here is, a regression line. So that's what collinear means. They are on the same line. Why can we not allow this to happen? Because we will not be able to distinguish between the effects of beta 1 and beta 2. Let's do a short math real fast to have peace of mind why this is the case and then we'll close the topic. So the earnings, the earnings is going to be equal to, let's just uh, open the brackets and see what we get. We will have our constant alpha, right? We, I, I put the heads because this is all based on, uh, you know, sample data. So we have over here beta 1 multiplied with the height and then we go, we go to the next term and let's Let's write it as beta 2 multiplied with the line of education that we explain via this regression, which is gamma 0, which is going to be gamma 0 plus, again, based on the sample, plus gamma 1 times the height. Now, let's open this bracket to see what we get. Um, let me just open this bracket. I'm going to copy paste the first part so that we're faster like that. I always forget to do it. Copy, paste it over here like that. And then we expand the other one. So we go plus. We go over here plus beta 2, we multiply with the first term. So we have beta 2 times gamma 0. And then we multiply it with the second term so that we have beta 2 times gamma 1 times the height. Now, what do we notice? We have height as a common factor here and here. Let's take it as a common factor underneath it. So we will have, we will have, let me just copy paste this again uh, like that. Let's go below. Earnings equals to the constant alpha plus beta 1. Hold on, I said, I said we're going to take height, right? We're going to take height over here. So, uh, okay, let's do it like that. We will, have, we will have earnings equals to alpha plus. We will have alpha plus. Now we take height as a common factor. So we put height in front of the bracket. What kind of, what, what variables are we left with? What coefficients? We have beta 1 left from here plus beta 2 times gamma 1 over there. Beta, hold on beta 2 times gamma 1 and then we're left with this constant right this is this is a number this is going to give us a number so we can consider it as a constant beta 2 times gamma 0 now let's group the constants together which are the constants well alpha is a constant beta 2 plus gamma 0 is a constant so let's write it together our earnings that we regress is going to be based on this constant which is alpha alpha hat plus beta 2 times gamma 0 and then we're left with then we're left with, we're left with this uh, height times the other uh, parenthesis, right? And that parenthesis is the slope coefficient. That is the effect of height on earnings. So we have beta one plus beta two times gamma one multiplied with the effect of the height. So this is the height. Now, what do we see? We see no slope coefficient of education. The slope coefficient is missing from education because education is explained by height. So. However, we are going to convert this, right? However, we're going to rewrite the earnings. We're going to have the variable explained by one. We're going to have the dependent variable of earnings explained by one independent variable only, which is the height. Because the other one is part of this variable. It is explained linearly by it. So they're on the same line, meaning we cannot distinguish the effect between the two. And that's how the math proves it. We are literally missing the effect of education. So we cannot interpret it, how it affects the earnings. Hope this all makes sense and we're done.